Let's do another video on multi-body problems. Remember, the key with multi-body problems is you redefine what your system is depending on what is going to get the job done for you. Here we have a system. We have no friction here, which is very nice. We've got three masses. They're connected by ropes, rope left and rope right. And what we want is the acceleration of this system, and then we want the tension in these ropes. What I think we should do here is first, let's say that the system is all three of these. If the system is all three of those, then the mass of that system is 12 kilograms, five plus three plus four. And the net force, there's no friction. The weight and the normal force of every bit of this cancels. So the net force is 60 newtons. And the net force is what? It's the mass times the acceleration. The net force on the system is 60. The mass is 12. Therefore, the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. Perfect. Now we need the tensions in these ropes here. And to do that, let's say that the system is just the 4 kilogram mass. So, like I said, whenever you're doing a multi-body problem, you choose what the system is in order to get the job done. If we do that, what would a free body diagram look like on that 4 kilogram mass? Well, it would have mg down like that. There would be a normal force. And then there would be the tension in this right rope. Well, Fn and Mg are numerically equal to each other, so that means that the net force is simply the tension. What does Newton's second law say? That the net force is equal to the mass times the acceleration of that mass. Hey, the acceleration of the mass is 5. Every bit of this system we just found has an acceleration of 5. Therefore, the tension must be 20 newtons. Got it. Well, then what? Any number of things you could do. We need to now find the tension on the left. Let's choose the system to be the 5 kilogram mass. If the system is the 5 kilogram mass now, you see how we're just selectively saying, you know what, for this part, let's make the system this. What would a free body diagram of the 5 kilogram mass look like? It would have mg down. It would have a normal force from the floor holding it up. On the 5 kilogram mass, you can see we've got the 60 newton force pulling to the left. And then the tension in this rope is holding back. Ropes can't push. Ropes can only pull. What's the net force on this mass then? The normal force and the weight cancel each other, so the net force is 60 minus L. And according to Newton's second law, that has to equal the mass times the acceleration. One more time, the acceleration we found in step one is 5. So the right side here comes out to be 25. So 60 minus what equals 25? How about 35? There you go. Real quick, I don't know if you're going to see this. I'm going to take 20 seconds and see if you get it. Look at the 3 kilogram mass. Let me put a circle around him. 3 kilogram mass. The tension in the right is 20 newtons. That rope is trying to hold the 3 kilogram mass back. The tension on the left, that rope is pulling with a tension of 35 newtons. What's the net force? 35 this way, 20 that way. What is it, 15? Oh, shoot, you can't even see that. Boom, there you go. Now you can. The 3 kilogram mass. That tension in the right is 20 newtons. This left rope is trying to accelerate this 3 kilogram mass to the left with a tension of 35 newtons. What's the net force? 15. What's the mass? 3. What's the acceleration? Way down here in the lower left, right, what we said from the beginning, 5 meters per second squared. 
there are any number of ways to get your answers whenever you do multi-body problems, but you have to choose your system selectively.